Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Yggdrasil, the place between places. The space between spaces, and the world between worlds. Which is all just a fancy way of saying we're in the middle of beaming to somewhere else. Oh no, it's the Witch's Cave. Yes, I really wasn't pleased with my uh, performance the last time I was here. Don't worry. This time, in addition to trying to redeem myself, I have remembered, uh, A, that there is a treasure on the surface I forgot to check out, a, uh, uh, a Hellfire node on the side of the, uh, or Hellwind node, rather on the side of that, uh, collapsed building that I uncollapsed with a sand bowl. I don't know what the puzzle is, but, uh, it is there, so it stands to reason it can be, uh, interacted with. The other thing is that, uh, someone threw me a bone. Trick with getting things over involves a moving block I apparently shoved into a corner at some point. Huh. How long has that been there? <laughs> Shit. That was not helpful at all. Sad. All right. Uh oh, there's no around. Oh, that does make that easier. Jump cut. Okay, check it out. There's a place I need to get to, but I cannot reach it from here. If I stand here, I can just see the, uh, the Hellwind. I don't know if I can reach it from here. And over here is a block I, uh, distinctly remember interacting with. Isn't that heavy? Yes. It doesn't seem heavy. Pretty sure they said that last time. And technically the time before that. Yeah, I, I remember pulling this back and sealing myself in there for no other reason than it amused me. Or maybe that was an accident. What if... Oh man. Well, I'll be damned. Well, shout out to Ronan Drake for telling me about the block without actually spelling out the uh, the solution to the puzzle. Ooh. Didn't get a good look at that one. I think it's the one with a hole in it. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice. Uh, oh, I, f I fucking forgot about the skills. Retreating slash while evading, hold back, and press right bumper to attack all enemies in a large radius. That's not bad. Except he doesn't actually hit any of them. Not bad, not bad. Increases the size and damage caused for the elemental surge explosion. Oh, that, yes. Launching all, enemy all enemies in range. Ooh, inflicting additional burn damage. I want to have that, yes. Okay! Let's get these right now. Spinning Chaos Strike and Retreating Slash. Um, because... Well, I just haven't really used this a whole lot, and I want to get a nice feeling for it. 
Let's see these last skills. Power Overload. Shock Conduit can chain to a greater number of enemies. Delicious. Pure Light. Light Arrow Explosions inflict stun damage on hit. Don't they already? I mean, okay. I'm not going to say no to more stun damage. if that means as opposed to, you know, regular damage. And Shock Conduit. I guess there's no achievement for that just because it's a Atreus. I guess I have to fill out fill, fill all four of these to get that. I didn't even notice the fucking background changing color before. Like, gray for the shield... Blue for the axe because it's cold, with little uh, snowflakes off to the side. Red with embers for uh, Blades of Chaos. What is that, brown-green for the bow? Huh. Well, thank you, Mr. Dead Guy. I hope your death is only as agonizing as you deserved. Oh, what? Why did I do that? Well, whatever, man. Father, I think you should see this. What, the crystal that you have activated already? <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I restart the timer, right? I did not! I'm really glad I checked that. How embarrassing. Ahem! Live demo. Probably shouldn't have been standing that close. Whatever. Yes! I guess that thing's probably freezing cold, huh? I wish mom were here. I mean, I would never voice this out loud. You know, he's a child who lost his mother a, day, a matter of days ago. And, you know, I understand the sentiment behind it, but... I want you to look around at this slightly grody, moss-covered cave where everything is damp, a few things are dangerously magical, and it was full of monsters earlier. And I do wonder, why? Why in the world would you want your mother here? Oh! Right! Yeah, the one I went to before didn't work. Because it was empty. Some asshole that uh, the Valkyrie escape. Actually, I don't know where that's going. Oh, well, that does solve that problem. I was about to voice. Just imagine how cold that is. Gee, burning dog face, if you wanted to open the door, maybe you should have taken the thing with you. Wrong button. Dun -dun -dun -dun. This guy went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Oh, no, that's right, these aren't coffins, I think. Yeah, this is stuff in here. Rampage of the Furies, a robust flurry attack that ends in a powerful slam. I do really like that all of the, uh... the, uh, the, the Blades of Chaos attacks utilize, uh, Greek mythology references. Okay, maybe not 
all of them. But um, a robust free attack that ends in a powerful slam. Oh my god! That's a light attack?! Fucking hey, the way he's spinning the chain around his hand, it looks like he's doing ro uh, yo yo tricks. That reminds me of something I wanted to check, just out of purely out of curiosity. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so that is what uh, Kratos' arms look like if he's not wearing armor, with the chains on top of the bandages like that. I mean, they used to be seared permanently into his flesh. So yeah, it is a bit weird to see the bandages under them. Kind of reminds me of that uh, bit from the original Resident Evil 2, where uh, they didn't want to make a, a new model for Leon with his shirt off, so they just added bandages on top of the existing one, like they bandaged him through his uh, police uniform. I like the fingerless gloves, by the way. That's always a, a, a favorite of mine, so it's nice to see Kratos enjoying it. Honestly, if anyone would invent fingerless gloves, you'd think it'd be Vikings. <laughs> Living in the like, cold like that. Shout out to Edric, who left a comment uh, just today saying, Here's a historical fact. The word Viking originally didn't refer to a people or a culture. It was used by Christian monks and they witnessed a raid for the first time. Viking means to pillage, to steal. So you can't technically be a Viking. You engage in the act of Viking. And I find that very interesting, that it's a verb, not a noun. Uh, but of course, today the word is used in a historical context when referring to the Norsemen from the time period of 793 AD to 1066, who engaged in raiding, colonization, trading, and conquest throughout Europe. And contrary to pop culture, they weren't a bunch of pagan savages destroying everything along the way. They had organized society. They did peaceful trading and conquered new lands because theirs wasn't fertile enough. They were also hardworking farmers. I find that very interesting. Uh, where did it go? Yes, yeah, shout out to Elthwar while I'm doing this. There was that chest that Andvari said was trapped. Uh, Elthwar says, I would have guessed that if there was a trap, it would have had the crystals form a hand to crush the target. That would have been cool. But I'd suspect that Anvari just wanted to prevent you from robbing him, since he was noted to be rather protective of his wealth in mythology. Though, if we take mythology as a guide, the trap would be a curse that brings misfortune and destruction to the thief, and that's something that Kratos likely regards as life as expected. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Yeah, that is 100% the vibe I get from this guy. It's very much a life's a bitch and then you die vibe. Except in his case, I think he might be immortal. I wonder when you stop aging. I mean, Zeus had a full white beard, had a white hair, wrinkles on his face. Kratos seems to have stopped... What am I seeing in there? Oh, it's the push bar! It's still glowing even though I can't actually get down there to interact with it. Actually, it should be right over here. I remember that. There was a bird there. This isn't painted on. Yes, there's a graffiti that says Aesir can go fuck themselves. Huh. Surprised I didn't just smash through that. Oh, yes, I did that already. I'll scout ahead. I forgot how vivid the colors here were. I will also admit, again, since, uh, you know, I'm playing the game and I'm not generally looking at Kratos, that I only noticed between uh, those, those two bits where I was like, oh, I'll go find the, uh, the puzzle. And I cut to the elevator. During that elevator cut, I noticed for the first time 
that when you sprint with that uh, enchantment equipped, you can actually see spark sparkles leave Kratos' back. That's not as obvious out here in the light, I guess. Where was that? There it is. Okay, this has the fire... Uh, I keep thinking fire because it looks like that. This has the wind on it. So where can I get from here in ten seconds? I think that's the one where I found the elk. Again, hard to remember because I consciously didn't use it for a while. Oh, shit, it's that tree. Sorry! Is this the top of Charlie's head? <gasps> Apropos of nothing, I'm reminded of the entertaining spelling of that word. And I really like the idea that his name is just straight up Charlie. Ah, okay. But, uh, you know, like, modern Charlie. Except that uh, the, the spelling they came up with was like C-H-A-U-R-L-I was the, uh, the best that, uh... Oh, that's cute. Yes, I see what I need to do now. I didn't notice the other node. Node? Yes, node. That's the word I was looking for. I did hear sparkles. Ooh, good find. Seven of nine, Star Trek reference. Hmm, I think it's the square-jawed one on the lower right, next to the uh, weird-looking ET one. Sorry. Exactly how old is the frickin' turtle? This tree looks hundreds of years old. And I know I uh, freaking IRL sea turtles can live for like 300 years or something bizarre like that. <laughs> kind of didn't think that one would work at that distance. <laughs> what? I'm looking at this. Huh? Right? Why are there two of them on the same one? Why does it have three of those things? Okay, I'm going to put that back the way it was, and we're... I don't even know where the chest is. Oh, this is the chest! Okay, forwards B, sideways B, backwards B. Do I have to activate that to... Or is it just always like that? Let's see if there's bees on here. Thank you. That's funny, but it isn't what I intended to do. Let's try that one. No, sir. I just happened to pick the right one the first time.
Oh no, it has to be up. What a strange Nornier chest. I was 100% convinced that was going to be a, 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 a rage mead horn. Because what else would a goddess lock up so badly? Well, that felt good. I have to admit that. Uh... Oh, no, not going to get to that from here. Maybe I'll go take on that uh, horrific foe for uh, the end of the session. Well, you know, Kratos might still be working on his own personal redemption, but hey, at least I redeemed my performance in that other video. I feel good about that. there. Uh, now where the hell was it? Oh. <gasps> Atreus, follow me. No trace of the fact that he was falling onto his knees as he said that. It's not Atreus. Oof, follow me. Although if you start inserting, you know, conversational bits like that, you know, you might go crazy. I'm trying to remember what game it was, where if you, like, ended a conversation early, instead of just skipping the line, your character just interrupts and says, Actually, I don't care, and you just walk away. You're on second thought. One of these days, we're going to find a hidden chamber of Thor instead, and it's going to be, like, stuffed full of shameful, illicit things that he doesn't want anyone to know about. Like, Jotun pornography. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? The, uh, the haters are always secretly into that. Strange urge to look up right then. I checked above me in real life. Okay, nothing wrong there. Hmm, which way? I mean, there's some spider webs up there. Also, well, you dust the ceiling. Making that one chain link must have taken more metal than this and all this armor. Probably weighs about a hundred pounds too, looking at it, if it's pure metal. What happens if I just fucking walk off? There's no switch down oh right. It doesn't matter. Shocking! It's a hidden chamber of Odin. What does this say? Boy, what does this say? Well, it was worth a shot. Always works for Kratos. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My own personal tradition. And I guess those are everywhere.
Valkyrie. We have to save her. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? I'm ready if you are. I seem here. I have if no chance for anything. Itch. I have no rage. Shit, I can't carry that with me, huh? Well, I came all this way. What the hell, right? What time is it? Uh, yeah. Let's say hello, take a run at it. Oh, God! Uh, maybe I'll just go ahead and save over the shores of Nine down here. Yeah, this could be bad. I know, right? That was weird. Oh no! Oh. I knew a girl named Kara once. This is new. Oh boy. She was, uh, your standard high school, uh, popular girl. Once get through your little dudes here, it's gonna be very therapeutic. Oh, she's got a projectile attack. And minions. Oh. What do I do? Ah. Uh. Uh. This is not great. I don't remember. Fucking hell. Hell yes! We're gonna goat horns like the devil over here. Oh, hell. Wait, that's the squirrel, don't do that. Ah! Nope. No! My organs. On my way! Let's go! No, you don't. That was level one! Ugh, my organs. Catch. Oh, you didn't think you'd get away from that easily, did you? No! How did you interrupt that? Brother, get up, brother! How the hell did they interrupt my runic attack? It wasn't even used up! Swear to God, if there's an arrow in midair, I'm gonna be. Better! Okay, yes. Alright, not bad for a first shot. I'm probably just gonna go right back in and take her on next time on Let's Play God of War. Uh, nothing I missed. Well, we'll take on our friend who oddly resembles Baphomet in the uh, the next episode. Kratos and Atreus will feel better about themselves for helping another Valkyrie. And uh, Mimir will probably say something sarcastic. Dibs. <laughs> uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then. Later!